Okay, let's see how this goes. I guess this would be a ranty type. No, I should call it Rambo. Yeah, that's the, the nice thing. Um, yeah, first off, I'm just going to say, yeah, uh, thanks, Charles. Um, yeah, I tend to um, sometimes, uh, we'll see. You know, the ironic thing is, is I was like, I'm using the mobile phone right now. I'll put it this way and hope for the best. Um, I'll try not to, like, I'll move and just hope for the best. Um, the ironic thing is, is that uh, I was like, oh, try to go get a mobile phone mount. And I'm like, I can't because I took them all apart. Um, yeah, I tend to sometimes get a bit uh, foc uh, focused, uh, well, yeah, hyper-focused. And um, in combination with uh, sometimes getting a little bit obsessed with things, um, yeah, I can, my balance can kind of shift uh, off and... Um, Things can get out of, out of kilter. That uh, being said, I don't want to be discouraged in, to, in doing what I'm doing. Uh, I just, you know, like be aware, you know, get, have perspective. Uh, yeah, let's go over a few things. Oh, I did make some notes too, thank goodness. Um, this has been one thing that's been going on in my mind uh, for the past few months. I'm like, okay, how do you become more efficient? And um, I would say probably one of the happiest times and certainly most productive uh, times in my life was second year university. Um, I, I was forced to stick to a timetable. And uh, in conjunction with, gosh, I feel so naked not talking with forceps. Um, in conjunction with um, like really wanting to do well. Uh, yeah, I just went nuts with the timetable. I, I basically studied six days a week. Uh, the only, um, time I didn't have, off, uh, I took off was Friday night. That was my night. Uh, Star Trek, the next generation was on, um, YTV at, the, at that time. And like, leave me alone. Um, so anyways, I'm like, okay, that's what you have to do. You have to go back to a timetable and stick to the timetable rather than me, uh, meander all over the place um because i want to get lots of things done and that's good trust me don't go or eh, whatever that's it's the way it is uh oh yeah i wanted to show you i'm not sure if i'm repeating certain things from previous videos but look at this i'm gonna have to grab the uh, mobile phone i'm trying to be mellow yeah some of the stuff i'm going to be talking about oh yeah just wanted to show that the ghost of Imelda Marcos is alive and well. I'll get rid of these boxes, but yeah. And I even was like yesterday, um, I was like, oh shoot, I really need to go back to the doll store to grab another shoe rack. It's the connectors. It's, that's what's, um, anyways, that's another. But look at this. Someone was going to throw this painting out. Too bad they didn't sign it. But I love it. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. I don't know. Hold on. Can you see the whole thing? Maybe I have to step back. Step back. Hold on. Sorry. I'll put on my chair. Anyways, I don't know. Just something. I'm not saying it's the best thing I've ever seen in my life and blah, blah, blah. And it went in the rain. Oh, yeah. It did take some damage. Uh, it was in the snow and the rain. But um, I don't know. It's just something about it. I was walking to the dollar store on Monday. And uh, it was in the bin, uh, in someone's bin area. And um, I don't know, I just looked at it. I was like, gosh, I'd like to take that home. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, but you got you to get going. You're on your break. Like, you don't have time for this horse shit. And so I went to the dollar store. And as I was coming back, the garbage truck dude was coming, uh, going to pick it up. And I ran like hell. I asked him. He said, yeah, yeah, no problem. And... Um, like I said, I don't think it's uh, the same with a lot of things. It doesn't mean it has to be the best. It's like, what impact does it have, you know, for me? Um, I don't know. I, I just, part of me was like, it, it gave me visions of things like, um, uh, like Russian sci-fi novel or uh, maybe a John Wyndham cover, you know, like the tripods or something. Did John Wyndham do that? I have to check. Oh, gosh, that's a good uh, series of books. Anyways, um, 
Too bad they didn't finish that off on the on the TV show. Shoot, that would because boy was that good. Um, I don't know things like that. You know, like maybe even a little bit of. Um, I don't know why I kind of get some uh, some of the pastiche uh, short stories of Lovecraft. Anyway, something like that. You know, like uh, something in the future where they've forgotten about us or forgotten about me or any like all um, that my type of society. Or actually, um, uh, something like a Christopher Priest novel. Uh, um, uh, is it Christopher Priest or is it? Hold on. That's a real. I really like that book. Uh, I just don't know where the heck it is. Hmm. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, Christopher Priest, The Inverted World. Um, Jeez, what a strange, what a strange book. Um, well, the first bit of it is like, if this doesn't catch your imagination, I don't know, it did for me. Hold on. Uh, what does he say? I don't know. It's not the prologue. Ah, here we go. I had reached the age of 650 miles. I was like, what? I got to read this. Um, yeah, it's pretty twisted, but oh my gosh, on a side uh, note, you want to talk about a book that I absolutely just love reading over and flipping over again? Oh my God. Killer bowl. What a, f oh, just love this book. Just love this book. Just love this book. Yeah, I, I can't, I could read that from here to tomorrow. Oh, here's another one before I stop this book. What grade would this be? Read seven? Yes. No, seven. Hold on here. Maybe grade nine. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe nine, because I think it was the first year we were allowed off school premises for lunch. And um, I found a, a cauldron, a big ditch culvert or whatever the heck those things are. Huge storm one underneath, um, uh, not an overpass, but whatever, near, the, uh, near this. Anyways, no one went anywhere near there. It was kind of like this little secret little, oh, it was beautiful, nice grassy area anyways. And um, yeah, didn't hear a thing. Didn't hear a peep. I could read, uh, take a little 15 minute nap. Like you had an hour lunch, right? So it was just, oh, anyways, I was so, it was hard for me to go back to, back to class. I can tell you that much. Um, anyways, let's go back to, ooh, my tea. So anyways, yeah, I want to stick to uh, start getting back to a timetable thingamajig. So yeah, I love that painting, man. Oh, and uh, because Charles wanted to show the how and why books. So these are the things that uh, um, certainly knocked uh, my socks off when I was a kid. Um, like the how and why, all the science ones. Uh, I was just like, you, you, Jesus Murphy. I was just like, well, I ended up making it, uh, my poor, well, my poor dad. I ended up taking a, a part by because I needed a I needed a D, AC DC adapter and um, so I took apart the electric shaver to make a telephone. Um, I don't know if you remember these things. I have the whole collection. My mom got these. Oh man, I used to stare at these pictures. Oh my goodness, like just oh, I wanted to be a paleontologist for a while, and then this thing came in you know those scholastic uh month of the book of the month things or or whatever ho 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 that's all i gotta say Whew. did i run home anyways let's get back to my crazy notes um <laughs> my last one focus and balance give me an effing break uh, oh, yes. I did want to mention, I think it's on the 22nd of December. Cataclysm Now. Um, I love his channel. I don't watch all his stuff because all of his, um, you know, not all the games, whatever. But I do try to at least listen sometimes just to like bump up the algorithm or whatever for uh, um, people that I like. Um, he's having a 1,000 subscriber uh, shoot the chit uh, thing. So... I hope to God you uh, want to go and take a look at that. Um, the Jezza one cat, I'm kind of bummed out about. I found out, I left a comment um, 
here I'll just put it to here and hope to God that uh, I don't screw up. No, I went back to here. Sorry. Uh, the Jezza one cat. I thought, oh my God, never knocks over anything. And then I made a comment on one of his uh, things. He's doing a World in Flames playthrough. And um, I wanted to find out what kind of uh, sti sticky tacky things uh, that tape stuff you, whatever. Um, and he gave me the right uh, stuff. And he said, oh, it's also cat, like, you know, helps for cat proofing. And I was like, oh, you, oh that kind of deflated my little fantasy of thinking this cat somehow was uh <laughs> the zen cat the jesuit one zen cat oh and on a side note i'm finding alberto markers all over the house i uh, so much so that when i found one i went oh gosh i can't um i better remember to mention this in the uh the video <laughs> i found another one like a second later, I was like, oh my god. Also, I found, um, what the hell was I looking for? Oh, this, the last thing I'm going to show you. I found one of my grandfather's um, soldiers service pack thingamajigs. It's for, I don't, oh my god. So this is, wow. I don't even know if I've ever seen that photo. Holy shoot, man. I'm not kidding you. Jesus H. Hold on. I got to get my glasses. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's my... Jesus. No, I don't know if I've seen this picture before. Well, that means I'm going to have to... So that's my grandfather on my dad's side, Albert, on the right. And that would be... Um... Valentine Georgina uh, Blackstone, I think I'll have to check, or black, something black, something or other. She's from England, or was from England. Um, wow. I had, I'm going to have to get that scanned. Jesus Christ. What the hell? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I did this video, man. And you can see um, how effed up. My back uh, background, you can see that uh, my grandfather wrote his name Press. That's because he was 15, and uh, he snuck in. So, and I, I don't know. They, they I don't know. East View, Ontario. I'm gonna have to find out where the hell that is. George Press was the father. Like hell, he was. Oh wow! All the stuff I didn't know. Oh, how ironic on Preston Street. Anyways, um, that would be something else to check. Jeez. Um, what else? Oh, two places I want to take you guys. The basement, eventually, when I get it cleaned up. And uh, can games. Oh, sheepers jumping. I can't wait to take you to can games. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, about the live streams as well. We're kind of getting close to the end of um, the Der Weltkrieg um, tutorials by Dave Schroeder. So I have to start thinking what I'm going to do there. We got a long way to go with Callendale stuff. A long way. No worries there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of in, my, in the back of my mind. And I really like the, uh, the even though it, it didn't solve a lot of things for me, I didn't learn much. Um, well, actually, I did. I learned I need to learn more. Um, about the um, strategic map and strategic movement uh, for the grand campaign. I thought, you know what, this is going to be a good idea to do these videos. I'm just going to do, uh, I'll say that one, uh, this week, I'm going to do a video on, um, I'm just going to read up on section 11, whatever the hell that is. And then that'll be that. Uh, what else? Hmm. Oh, and remember again. Dad versus son. Oh, God, I'm so far behind on videos, man. I feel like a dick from hell. Um, he, I'm sure, still wants recruits for his uh, Combat Volume 2 uh, campaign. So for, for crying out loud, man, it is fun. It is so neat to have your virtual name or your virtual character interacting and whatever with these other people that you know from YouTube. It's like, oh, I just love it. 
Um, what else? Oh, yes. Um, I got a newsletter from Conflict Simulations Limited, CSL. Uh, the proprietor, uh, Ray Weiss, having a really tough time with the, uh, his old printer and so on and so, so forth. I'm just going to read a little bit. But uh, it says, first off, I just want to apologize. This is him. I just want to apologize to all of you that uh, have been patiently. I'm just seeing what the hell you can see. Something half decent. Um, first off, I want to apologize to all of you that have been patiently waiting on games. I real, really appreciate your patience. There's nothing more I want right now than to be shipping games as the past eight to nine months has frank frankly been financially brutal for us. But thanks to the generous patronage of our customers, we are surviving through a pause that would have drove many other companies into closing. For that, I thank you guys immensely. And then he's got a blurb about um, uh, the company mentioning about a supply chain issue and so on and so forth. But I did want to uh, read a little bit at the, at the back end. Serbia is coming! The World Undone, 1914, Serbia is coming. Oh, jeez. And then, extra bonus in a minute. A final note to those of you still patiently waiting on pre-orders from when I first started the company. Uh, not that bit. Oh, at the same time, these negative items have impacted. Blah, no. Where are you? Oh, third page. Isn't there a third page? So during this period... I've gotten at least quite a bit done. Both Konigratz and Serbia yes, are ready for print. Serbia just needs some formatting. And I'm currently working on the World Undone East Front Trilogy rules. <sighs> yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm going to be a happy bugger. Um, here's my uh, little private... Um, uh, private, whatever the hell you want to call it, little side project I've been working on for a few months, uh, what, which got me off into Counterland. Uh, it's this game, Tannenberg. It's so tiny. Um, it's only three pages for crying out. Look at it. That's it. And uh, it's done by Spencer Gable originally. It's now uh, the rights are owned by Excalibur Games. I contacted Excalibur Games way back when, when I wanted to do my um, uh, my open house because I was going to give away a free copy of Tannenberg to everybody that showed up and because uh, it's such a simple little thing. And I was going to make my own counters because trust me, the replacement counters are god-awful. Well, okay. Sorry. They're made out of a cereal box. Uh, end of. That's what you're getting. Um, anyways, I contacted him. He was, uh, the person was extremely nice at the very beginning. And uh, trust me, uh, all my emails were super duper. I was never um, presumptuous, uh, cocky. Uh, I know better than you. None of that. All I said, and I have two copies, so I have the I have an Excalibur version and an original uh, Spence and Gable. And I'm just making my own stuff here, like you can see here. But I'm also making my own map. Like I'm redoing the whole flipping thing, man. Well, simple. Like I said, it it, it I looked at it this way. It's like, look, you, you don't have you're not designing a game. All you're doing is re jigging one, making it nice, whatever. Oh, I also go uh, onto the website. Um, Heck, oh shoot, I can't remember the name of it. But you can make little, very simple RPG-ish maps, but it'll do for now. That's another thing I want to do. I'm going to make a, a recording. I'm going to go, uh, zip around all the websites I go to. I think that'd be a nice thing. So that way people can see, uh, oh, okay, this is where Chris gets his Austro-Hungarian craziness and whatever. Um, I'm getting sidetracked. So anyways, I contacted, the, so I've got both copies. And I noticed a discrepancy in... The counter mix. Uh, there's a few off uh, to the Excalibur. So I wasn't sure um, which version was what here is going on. So I contacted the person. I said, you know, anyways, I tracked it down. I figured out it was uh, he had made the error. And so I explained, I said, you know, just on the off chance, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and, and I explained it, how it possibly could have happened and so on and so forth. Never heard back. And trust me, I also said, by the way, I want to buy multiple copies didn't hear back. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? 
what the hell? So I'm like, okay, fine, screw you. Um, I'll just do whatever. Um, so that's that. I think I'm almost finished, except for, um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys, this will be some of the stuff that I'll show you in the basement. Um, remember I was saying I, I'm, I like making, I'm pretty good at making blinky lights and stuff. So this is my uh, VIC-20. Well, it's actually not, well, the case isn't a VIC-20. As you can see, it's a Commodore 64C. Uh, I just love the case. So I took the uh, took the, the 64 out and popped the VIC-20 in. It's easy. Um, this is the other lovely thing about uh, Commodore 64s and VIC-20s is they use the same programming language. Okay, not the same memory map and everything, of course. Um, you know, uh, yeah, the interface is a little, uh, not that different actually. Oh my gosh, of course it's not. Um, but anyways, like I said, I love making, so this is actually, yeah, you could use this straight up as a blinky light if you want. But, uh, what I had ended up, what, what, what this is actually is a, um, uh, I don't know, what would you call it? A data indicator? It's just for me to, to see, uh, if there was data, um, being transmitted from one VIC-20 uh, to another or the Commodore 64s. Uh, and here's the, here's the beauty. So I made this little uh, interface thing. I don't know, I even have a nice little reset switch, as you can see. So what I did was I just used um, just a normal telephone thing. But it's got four wires in each, right? So, um, well, hello, one byte, eight bits. Um, so... Anyways, and then you just plug it in here. I just uh, cannibalized old cartridges. And then um, I can plug it in to the back of all my VIC-20s and Commodore 64s. And just for fun, obviously, there's no practical use for crying out loud. Oh, here's the other thing, uh, which is what... Um, so it's kind of like... Uh, you get... you get So it would be like... Uh, so this... So this would go to here, to there, and then this would then interface, uh, uh, well, to things like this or whatever, anything I want, as long as um, you just, as long as it's a small current. I, I do things good with small currents. If you get into large currents, forget it. Uh, keep me away from them. Uh, uh, so all you really need, if you want to get it, is just this book. This, I, I mean, obviously I have other books, but this thing. Okay, I'm going to explain to you the difference I find in philosophy. Uh, mind you, I've been out of the computer, like what's going on nowadays. Um, so this book here, I, okay, I'm sure now if you bought a, 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 a normal computer um, and you took it apart, you'd be like, well, you just blew out the warranty, this, that, and the other thing. Nope, not these guys. This thing for crying out loud tells you, take it apart. Do things. Go go freaking mental. Anyways, okay. Um, yeah, I was doing uh, this thing. I made a little video game. So, well, okay. So this was, um, I know, like I said, no practical use. But I ended up making a little uh, local area network uh, down in my basement with my VIC-20s and Commodore 64s and, well, upstairs as well. So I could do things such as, I know, like I said, no practical use. I just wanted to see if I could do it. So you could actually, I'm not kidding, it was so much fun. I could um, send email on my VIC-20 in the kitchen, hit return, and I could hear a sound from, let's say, the VIC-20 in the basement indicating, hey, I got email. It was so freaking cool. Um, what else did I, uh, I was just starting to get into it, but then I wandered off to something else. Um, I was just starting to get into uh, figuring out how to uh, share memory. So... Uh, I could have a VIC-20 for, like, it's tapped out at 32K, um, essentially. Oh, this thing's pimped. <laughs> like, you have no idea. Um, essentially, uh, I mean, after that, you have to, yeah, you have to parse it out somewhere else. Uh, so I was like, hey, wait a minute. We can parse it out via this way. You know what I mean? I can share the memory. I could have one as this. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, so, oh, this I'm going to show you. So this thing, if you're a lucky fellow to have, or a, a lucky person, I should say. Uh, I don't think too many people have this. So this thing, 
Oh, and I've got the lucky number 30. Well, it's part of the whatevers. Um, so this thing has essentially every single piece of flippin' software that was ever made commercially. I'm not kidding you for the VIC-20 in any format that you can think of. Tape cassette, disc, um, <laughs> cartridge, all menu-based. So you can go in here and say, um, hey, I want um, everything done by whatever uh, that was cartridge-based in 1982. Poof, it'll just show you that. Or hey, I want um, everything that is an 8K game or just a 4K game or a 16K game. Poof. It, um, yeah, I know the person that did the, uh, the music menu for this, uh, every, well, I know everybody in there. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I think that's about it. Oh, almost, almost. I wanted to show you the very last thing. Yeah. And like I said, when I was rummaging around, um, all this crazy nonsense, um, yeah, I found me, my ye old. Uh, one of my old, that's why I was like with the timetable, my old, one of my university, uh, boy, did I do a lot of work on that son of a bee. Um, but here's my favorite book of all time. I cannot even begin to tell you what a good read this is. It just does not get tiring. I can't remember the first time I read it. Maybe what, four or five, six. Um, and yeah, I still love it. There's nothing wrong with this book. It's a short read. Lots of pictures, a uh, compelling story. It's this puppy. Wow. Just absolutely love this book, man. It is my absolute all-time favorite book. And look at the pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at this. I mean, come on. What a story. I need some water. <coughs> Excuse me. But I want to show you one little bit, because even as a, God, what an, what, you want to talk some attractive women? Hold on here. Oh, I used to love that picture. Oh, I love, <laughs> what am I talking about? Look at him. I didn't, actually, I, I wasn't really too impressed when Ferdinand turns into this big ass thing. You know, that's with you. Yeah, look at those guys. I used to stare at them a lot, but... I'll show you who I really used to stare a lot at. God, they're hot. At least I thought they were. When he gets to Madrid. Look at that. That's so cool. You getting ready for the sexy women? Oh, my. That... As a kid, or even now, <laughs> I'm like, ooh, look at those women. Anyways, that's it. Um, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to finding out more about what's going on with the Mighty Endeavor and um, Charles's playthrough and Meandering Mike. I know he's busy with other uh, stuff, not just YouTube, whatever. And yes, uh, now I'm off into ramble because my brain doesn't know what to talk about anymore. All right, that's it. And um, yeah, okie doke.